In just a few days, Alex Vanderswan will walk back into the federal courthouse to be sentenced. His crime, lying to investigators in special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into potential collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. His sentencing documents lay out for the first time the clearest connection yet between Russia and the campaign. It details conversation between former Trump campaign aide Rick Gates and someone labeled Person A. Investigators say Person A has ties to a Russian intelligence service and had such ties in 2016. It goes on to say that Vanderswan admitted that he knew of that connection, stating that Gates told him Person A was a former Russian intelligence officer with the GRU. Gates has also pled guilty and is cooperating with Mueller, telling him all about the conversations that happened just months before the election. A lawyer, Vanderswan, worked with Gates and former campaign chairman Paul Manafort on a report that was meant to legitimize the prosecution of former Ukrainian Prime Minister Yulia Tomashenko. Concerned that they could face charges over it in 2016, Vanderswan now admits he recorded phone calls and destroyed emails. When caught by Mueller, he confessed. Mueller says he shouldn't be shown leniency for eventually telling the truth and urges the court to impose a large fine, saying Vanderswan can afford it. His father-in-law is a prominent Russian oligarch with close ties to the Russian president. Attorneys for Vanderswan say he should be spared prison, arguing he's been stuck in a U.S. hotel for the last few months without any good friends or family. They say that should be punishment enough. Investigators, though, painted a pretty harsh picture for the judge. He'll find out next Tuesday he could face up to five years in prison or up to a $250,000 fine. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.